In 1885, a small rail town on the west side of Evansville, known as Howe, was platted for the housing of the rail workers and their families. The town was named after Lee Howe, who was a general freight manager for the l &N Company who came to Evansville after serving as a captain in the Confederate Army. By 1889, shops and homes had already begun to spring up, and the town started to come to life. The town continued to expand, and the population of Howe continued to increase. The community of Howe really began as a rail community. Um, the Howe rail yards are, are really what sparked the growth of the area. Um, because of the rail, um, because of the um, good pay that they offered, it really sprung up as a burgeoning neighborhood on the west side of Evansville. In 1907, a new focal point of the community was built on the corner of Broadway and Cumberland. The new Howe Mortgage Bank, originally called the Farmers and Citizens Bank, was built by the Harrison Shop Valve Company for a substantial sum of $10,000. The new building was described by the Evansville Journal on May 5, 1907, as one of the prettiest buildings of its kind in Evansville. The paper continued by describing the building with a beautiful Greek-style exterior and fitted with a splendid harmony interior. The, the Howe Bank really became, you know, the financial center for that community um, and also the, really the focal point from an architectural standpoint as you head uh, west from Evansville into Howe, it's one of the really landmark buildings that you see. The new bank also came with the large burglar-proof vault as well as electric and gas lights. The bank saw much success in the early years and through the 1920s, but when the 1930s rolled around, Evansville, just like most of the United States, was hit by the worst economic crisis in the history of the country, the Great Depression. Many banks in the area were hit hard and had no money left. This caused the Farmers and Citizens Bank of the Howe community to close its doors on January 13, 1932. The bank was later forced to pay investors a 5% dividend to compensate for the money they lost. The years after the bank closed, the building was sold to the Howe Building and Loan Association. The bank's name also changed throughout this period to the Howe State Bank. These name changes were not much more than association changes. The board of directors was made up of most of the same people. It was then sold again and renamed the Howe Mortgage Bank and was used as such through the 1990s. In 2004, it was turned into a nail salon for a short time but has been vacant since 2008. The once beautiful building sits empty waiting for someone to come and restore her to her former glory. The biggest problem for would-be buyers is the $20,575 worth of unpaid property taxes, plus the cost it will take to reinforce the cracked, weakened walls, the caved-in ceiling, and the unstable foundation. However, this building has been a focal point in an old Westside community for years, and it would be a shame to see such a building fall under the wrecking ball.